It's our big story at 10, a huge marijuana bust in Marinette County. Thousands of pot plants found growing in Athelstane and Middle Inlet. After a two-month-long investigation, police served federal search warrants at two properties last night. Five suspects from Green Bay are now behind bars. Two others are still on the run tonight. NBC 26's Deandra Corinthios is live in the newsroom with more on this sting operation. Now, this operation has been underway since May. This criminal complaint states that fishermen and loggers tipped off police, and after hours and hours of surveillance, authorities finally had enough to make the arrests. Down this gravel road, investigators located more than 1,000 marijuana plants. This is as close as we could get to the property, but police have been back there all day and all night. There's a bunch of sirens going on, and then a bunch of cops are going. Back and forth. Neighbors aren't surprised to hear about the massive pot growing operation. So it's a desolate area where they can, you know, get back in the boonies up here. Dan Friebel says he and his friends used to fish for trout in the nearby creek, but became suspicious when a no fishing sign went up. So they run into the two guys back in there and they said they told them fishing season is closed or fishing is closed. According to this criminal complaint, three fishermen contacted law enforcement about the sign as far back as May. The document says fishermen also reported trees cut down and power cords blocking the creek. In June, aerial and on the ground surveillance cameras revealed signs of grow sites here and in Athelstane. The complaint states marijuana plants were intermingled with corn and were approximately five feet tall. Agents were discovered by the marijuana workers and then fled into the woods. Agents collected plant samples which tested positive for THC, the active ingredient in marijuana. Five people are now in custody, but with two suspects still on the run, neighbors will be on the lookout. You know, if something suspicious, don't be afraid to, you know, report it. Now, police say they do not believe the two, spe the two suspects that are still on the run are armed or dangerous. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Deandra Corinthios, NBC26. The five people arrested in this marijuana grow operation made their initial appearances today in federal court in Green Bay. These five who live in Green Bay are charged with manufacturing and possessing marijuana with the intent to sell. If convicted, they face 10 years to life in prison and up to $10 million in fines.